I have a friend who had braces for a long time and he was self-conscious about the way he smiled with braces so he always covered his mouth when he laughed and even after he got his braces off it was kind of instinctive to keep covering his mouth at least for a bit. Can you relate? Maybe with braces or maybe something else but some kind of insecurity that digs deep down and, and causes this knee-jerk reaction over time with this metaphorical hand that tries to cover us and cover it up and keeps us from doing all that we could or all that maybe we should in God's kingdom or other places and causes us to miss out on things. This is where this fits into our Mark sub-theme of regardless. We're talking about different things that plague us and keep us from serving and living for Christ with all that we have, but that we want to be committed regardless of those things and let God compensate for where we lack. And we're using test cases from scripture where they did just that. One of the main differences between last week's test character and this week's test character is that while people around David doubted him, he was confident in God's power working through him. But this week's character, God calls him to a task, and yet he offers excuse after excuse of different what seem like insecurities of his why he can't do it. That's what makes Moses such a perfect test case for all this, because his overall legacy of faith was huge, which means that it's not necessarily the presence of insecurities that makes or breaks us, but the presence of God who is bigger than those insecurities. And this Sunday, we're gonna talk more about it and how it applies to us. Hope to see you there.